Uh, right now we're going to program the 1575E connectivity controller to have one of the relays, and in this case relay 2, uh, feed via a water meter input. So there's a couple of steps you're going to have to complete. Uh, and again, let me give you a quick review. By hitting the arrow buttons, you can see what the current setup is. And as you can see, the current setup for Relay 2 is that it's disabled. So you use these arrow buttons to scroll through the setup, how the unit's running, without actually changing anything. If you want to change something, you have to get into the menu system. So you press the clear button, and we go to the menu. And since we're talking about messing with Relay 2, we're going to, of course, go to Relays, plain English here. We'll go down to relay number two. Now I can press two, and it'll go to relay two. And let me get clear here. Or I can use the arrow button to highlight it, press enter, and go into the same configuration. But here we see it's disabled. And in this instance, we're going to have it control via water meter. All right. Two water meter inputs available on the controller. We're going to pretend that we've hooked it up to meter number one. And we're going to tell it to feed after 100 gallons. All right, and after that 100 gallons, I want it to feed for, in minutes and seconds, I want it to feed for, let's say, two minutes. So two, zero, zero. Notice I'm pressing the number keys, not using the arrow keys to scroll up and down. Then I hit enter. Well, I'm not done yet, because the controller knows that you're the human being and you're in charge. So I have to clear out to the main menu and actually drop down to water meters. I have to tell it what sort of water meters installed on the terminals for meter one. So I go to meter one, and again, I can press one or I can just hit enter. It's going to be in gallons. Now, our options are contacting head. The default is the auto troll, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to have an auto troll. You can set it up for whatever you want. So the default is auto troll. We're going to go to contacting head. That's the kind of water meter where every time the meter spins around for a certain number of gallons, it closes the contact momentarily and sends a signal to the controller. You have to look at the water meter, understand what your manufacturer sent you. The default is 100 gallons per contact. It could be 1,000 gallons per contact. It could be 10 gallons per contact. You'll have to clarify that with your water meter. So in this instance, if it was 100 gallons, I just go ahead and hit enter. I could reset the totaling function, which is totals, you to, or totals the water meter, so it shows you how much gallons you've actually processed through the controller. And I'm going to say yes, go ahead and reset that. I get a reset screen. I hit clear. Now. And I would back out, and I would be ready to feed by water meter. But let's talk about the other kind of water meters we can actually have. Go down to water meters again, hit enter. Meter one, again, enter. Gallons again, enter. Now, a paddle wheel is an insertion type water meter that will have a spinning wheel. And based on the diameter of the pipe, it will have a K factor as to what your, uh, it, it, the adjustment for the pulses that this, this water meter generates mean. So you'll have to get that off of the manufacturer specification for the pipe size that you're utilizing and the water meter that you're utilizing, the paddle wheel water meter. And then you would go ahead and program in the K factor. So the K factor here is 100. It could be 500. It could be 100. It could be 10. You've got to make sure that you read it off the specification. And again, it asks you if you want to reset. Okay. Now the auto troll 1 inch and 2 inch are Lakewood Instruments economical, uh, uh, low price, uh, uh, turbine type water meters. The curves are already set up in here and uh, you would basically tell it whether it was the one inch or the two inch model and uh, you won't have to do any other adjustments after that. It'll do the calculations for you. And that is about it for the water meter based control. Thank you very much.